I'm going to show you how to transform a photo into a white chalk wall drawing. I provided this brick wall background for you to download. Its link is located in my video's description or project files. Open a photo of someone that you'd like to make into a chalk drawing. The first step is to make a selection around your subject, so we can separate it from its background. There are many ways to do this and your choice should depend on the characteristics of your photo. For this example, I'll use the quick selection tool, since the background is a solid color. If you're using this tool, Press Ctrl or CMD plus J to cut the subject from its background and copy it to its own layer. We'll convert it into a smart object. So we can add filters non-destructively, as well as change the subject if we want to without having to redo all the effects. Hide the background and click the icon at the upper, right of the Layers panel. Click Convert to Smart Object. You know a layer is a smart object. If this icon is at the lower, right corner of a thumbnail. If your photo has a lot of shadows, you can brighten them and bring out their detail by going to Image, Adjustments, and Shadow slash Highlights. I'll increase the shadows amount to 100% and click OK. We want to make the foreground and background colors white and black respectively. If they aren't, Press D on your keyboard to make them black and white and then press X to invert them. Go to Filter and Filter Gallery. Open the Sketch folder and click Photo Copy. I'll make the detail, 2 and the darkness, 50, however, feel free to experiment with the amounts. You can always adjust them later, since they're being applied to a smart object. We want to make a new layer below the active layer. To do this, Control click or CMD click on the new layer icon. We'll fill the empty layer with black and since black is your background color, press Control or CMD plus delete. Shift click on the top layer to add it to the highlighted layers. Click the icon at the upper right corner and convert these layers into one smart object. Press V to open your move tool and drag it up onto the tab of the brick background. Without releasing your mouse or pen, press and hold shift as you drag it down onto the background. Then, release. Pressing shift keeps your subject centered. Change its blend. Mode either to screen or lighter color. To make it larger or smaller, open your transform. Tool by pressing Ctrl or CMD plus T. Go to a top corner and when you see a diagonal, double arrow, press and hold shift as you drag it out or in. To reposition it, go inside the transform and drag it. When you're happy with its size and position, press enter or return. Next, I'll show you how to clean up your drawing by hiding unwanted lines and spots. Click the layer mask icon to make a layer mask next to the active layer. Open your pencil tool. And pencil picker. We'll care of the size in a moment. The hardness should be 100%. As well as the opacity. Then, press enter or return. To make your pencil larger or smaller, press the right or left bracket key on your keyboard. Carefully draw over those areas of your image that you'd like to clean up. You're actually drawing over the layer mask, which is masking out those areas. Next, we'll add a chalk like texture to the drawing. Go to Filter. Noise and add noise. Tick Gaussian and drag the slider to an amount that looks good to you. Then, 
Click OK. Next, we'll widen the chalk outline surrounding your subject. Double click the smart object to open it. Click the FX icon and click stroke. Click the color box and pick white. Then, click OK. Make the size, 2 pixels. The position either center or inside and the blend mode, dissolve. Reduce its opacity to 60%. Then, click OK. Close the Smart Object tab and when you see this message, click Yes. To save the changes. Your drawing is now updated with the wider outline. Thanks for watching.